Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, I'm really into this smocking with beading effect. So I'm going to do another one today, but this time I'm going to use some larger beads and some different fabric. So we'll see how that goes. Let's get into it. This is the fabric I'm going to use. It's kind of a peachy colour and I've marked on here with one centimetre square pencil dots and across here it is made up of 10 rows down which is four inches and I've also done 15 inches in depth so I've allowed a couple of inches either side all the way around and I've done 20 inches across and in total it is 28 across. These are the beads that I'm going to use, pretty large and I'm going to use normal sewing thread, I'm going to double it up and I'm going to just cut a length that is the width of the total rows that I've done across here. So a small amount of an overhang and I'm using a fairly thin needle that's really sharp. So I'm going to start in the bottom left. So I'm down in the bottom left corner and I'm pulling my thread up and I'm going two dots along. And then I've left one space and then I've threaded my bead onto it. So you can see what I'm doing, I'm just repeating that pattern. So usually when I plan these videos, I like to um, try and vary it up a little bit. Um, so you can see from the last video that I did, I used the smaller beads. And this time I'm just really curious to see how the larger beads come out. And I'm just going to try out with the satin today, but I also think that I'm going to try it out with some more structured, thicker, maybe some cotton fabric as well. And just to say, because quite a few of you always ask um, where I get things from, these beads were actually from Home Bargains. I got them ages ago and I got a few different colours of them as well. I think I've got some silver and um, some white as well. But yeah, you can get loads of stuff from there really cheap. Now I'm on to the second row and instead of starting with just a plain stitch there I've added a bead straight away and it sort of knocks it out of kilter so you've kind of got a bead, then a space, then two dots of a runner stitch and then we're back onto a space and then your bead and so on and so forth. So. Um, you just follow that pattern and as I said I'm going to do 10 rows of these. point I have done five rows and used about 40 beads and I ran out so I'm now going to switch to these pinky pearls to finish off the last couple of rows. So 
that's what it looks like so far. I've just finished off, so I can just snip off that last thread there. And now I'm going to pull it. If you enjoyed this video today don't forget to like and subscribe also helps if you turn on the notifications so you can see exactly when I upload and take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video bye bye